welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for stopping by in today's video we'll be making katlesi katlesi is just a kenyan snack uh, mainly costarian and uh, we'll, we'll be using all those ingredients and we will begin by um by boiling my potatoes and then we we'll continue with the video so stay tuned and don't forget to like share subscribe and click on the notification bell so what I have over here, I just have, I, I started boiling my water before everything so that it can like kind of quicken. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my potatoes in here and I'm going to add them really carefully because the water is already hot. So I'm adding my potatoes. I'm going to be adding some spices to like kind of boil with them. So I'm going to be adding two bay leaves and salt. If you have any other spices that you like, you can. I'm going to add extra when I'm like mashing them up. So this is just like a boil kind of thing. And I'm going to just mix everything up and then let it, I'll cover this and uh, I'm boiling it on high heat so that you can boil faster. And then uh, be adding this directly. And I'm going to be cooking it without adding any oil. So I'll start cooking it completely uh, so that it can com completely brown before I add all the other ingredients and spices. So in terms of cooking your meat, whenever it's cooking, just make sure that you're actually like kind of pounding down so that it doesn't really like form up into small chunks. So mash them up like this mashing them I'm going to completely mash them before I add any more spices so before we finish mashing our potatoes this is how this meat looks like and now I'm going to be adding uh, my spices because it's so brown so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add all these spices just at one. And I hope it's not too much salt. So the measurement of these spices, I used one, uh, one teaspoon. I used one teaspoon and uh, the garlic, I kept two spoons of garlic. And um, yeah, that's the only thing that I added to. And the salt, salt I, I measured it my own testing bag so salt just make sure that you always add salt to test and yeah one thing i'll say about the ginger if you're not a ginger fan you don't really have to add it but if you want to like a bit add it you can add half a teaspoon of ginger so i'm going to mix this up and then add um my lemon after everything has like kind of mixed up i'm going to be adding lemon but not so much let me hold it with this other hand teaspoon three teaspoons and i'm going to be adding these onions the reason why i'm adding my onions last is because i want it to be crunchy and not so soft I'm going to mix them up. Uh, and right now my heat is extremely low. So my heat is low and I'm just mixing this up. And I'll let it cook for about um, one more minute and then it will be done. So the, the time that it took to like kind of brown, it took around, um, I'll say five minutes too, but my, my this burner is usually like the low heat burner, that's why it kind of took long. I'll say, no sorry, I'll say about seven good minutes, just like low heat uh, for seven minutes to completely cook. Then I added the, my, my first batch of spices and I let it cook for about a minute. Then I added my lemon and I'm, I've added these onions and I'm going to let it cook for another one minute and then they'll be done. 
at this point you can take uh, you can take it out but i want mine to kind of cook to soak in together every, every all those spices because i kept them all at once and then after that it will be good to go one thing you should do is always test before you remove something from the fire So I've mashed my potatoes and that's how they look like. This is how they look like right now. It's not completely done, but I want to add my spices at this stage. So what I have, this is lemon pepper seasoning and this is dried parsley and this is salt. I'm going to add this too fast. I won't, I won't add my salt here because the lemon pepper seasoning does have um, salt in it. So I don't want to add so much. And then the next thing I'm going to add, I'm going to add lemon. Yes, I add lemon. Just add it. If you don't add it, then don't add it. So I've added my lemon and I'm going to mash them up again, then add salt if needed. I'm going to add more lemon and I'm going to add salt. Salt. So you guys, how we usually make it. So you scoop some make sure your hands are clean because this you really need to use your hands because you'll be forming candle balls so you just like scoop some you take them in you take it to your hand i'll be I'll, let me add more i usually use there's so many ways of like forming it so you can form a ball a hole in the in, in the middle like this and then take your mince meat, like this one spoon, and just put it in. And then, so what I usually do, so this is like, I'm going to be adding more, more of potatoes if I need to like kind of cover it. But this is how I usually do it. I form a, a hole in the middle and then the other outer part is usually kind of thick. So I just press it in like this. And then it's going to like go deeper. Then it will like the other side will come together. Oh, instructions. So you see it didn't really form. It didn't really close up completely on the top. So what I do is just add more and then I tap tap the cracks together just kind of like rub it together and if make sure no meat and no crack is like kind of outside like that kind of evenly remember you see this is a crack so what i do i just kind of like smooth it and it should be like a ball it can be any shape you want a ball or like an oval kind of thing i make mine into um kind of circular shapes instead of like kind of ovals so this is one so I'm going to be making the second. Let me show you how, guys how to make another one. Okay, let me show you, <clears throat> let me show you how to make another one. So what I do, I scoop, and then I form the and I I massage it together so that it can all come together, and then I pinch it in the middle to make a hole or a well rather. But I don't really pinch it so much. You see, like there's kind of meat in the middle. Okay, let me start again. So I, I scoop, I massage it together. And then with clean hands, guys, clean hands. We kind of form a well or a hole in the middle. But it should not be extremely thin because if it's thin, then it's going to like crack. Then your meat, I usually tend to use one scoop of meat. I put it in the middle. If you want to add, you can go ahead and add. But don't make it too much. Then after that, remember the meat goes in the middle, the hole where you just created. Then with the other hand, I kind of press it in. When I'm pressing the meat in, I'm letting this other side to kind of come up. 
I don't know if you guys are seeing. So I press the meat in and then this other side kind of comes up. I help it come up to this in this world we help each other. <laughs> I help it come up and if I need extra, maybe for example, I don't really have more to like cover at the top. I'll just take some and then put but then this one it looks like it's gonna completely cover. And then I now start like uh, filling up all the cracks. So you see over here there's a crack. What I do is just like smoothen it out like this. And then kind of like tap it. You have to be really gentle. And uh, this is the reason why you don't want your potatoes to like completely like be so wet. So this was the bottom part where we formed the hole. You see, there's no crack and and um, it, there's no crack because it didn't really form an extremely deep well. There was like some potatoes on the side too. So this is how I do it. And then you just form it in the, the, into the circular. So this is the second one and this is the first one. So you see, they're kind of similar. You won't really get the exact same size. But if you go, if you have like a measurement in your mind, so I usually use one spoon of this and then add extra, maybe one and a quarter, and then one of these. And then if I want to add extra, maybe like two, like a quarter two. So this is how it looks like. There's no crack. You can see there's no crack it's like a small ish kind of ball so what i like doing in mine because you you guys have already seen that there's usually some cracks here and there so uh, people usually just like dip this in in the egg and then fry it what i like doing in mine is coat it in breadcrumb to kind of hold it to stop the cracking if there's further cracks so let me show you guys how i dip mine in the so bread. take it i just um And then I do this to remove the excess. And then that's it. So let me finish all of them and then fry them and then I will show you guys how we fry them. So I'm breaking my two eggs. And then I'm going to add a pinch of salt to salt. If you want to add maybe, maybe like extra spices, you can, but I don't like adding so much spices on the eggs. So I bit these eggs. And then what we'll do after this is um, we're going to, 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 to dip one of the cutlasses inside the egg, then deep fry it on high heat. So I take one of the cutlasses, I put it inside. You can use your hand or a spoon. I technically am used to using my hand, but let me show you guys how I you can use a spoon too. Okay, I can't use a spoon. Let me just use my hands. With your clean hands, make sure the cutlass is, is well coated in the egg. And then on... Um, heat on high heat it's not, it should not be so high but it should not be so low too because everything is already cooked so what i do is i take the cutlassy which is rolled in the egg like this and then drip off the excess then just like put it directly inside the hot hot oil so let me show you this again so in the egg i wash it with the egg make sure your hands are clean you can use your spoon if you can i'm used to using my hands and then place it inside the oil don't overcrowd them because you don't want them to kind of stick on each other so you place it in the oil and then let them cook and each side should like roughly cook maybe for 30 seconds each so what i'm going to do i'm going to wash my hands and come and turn these ones so what I do again after maybe some few minutes after 30 seconds, 
less than one minute. I turn And then also cook for 30 seconds and we shall we will, we will remove them. so after maybe one extra minute on the side I'm going to be removing them make sure you remove one after another I'm going to put them on a paper towel to dry so let me show you this again so this is what I do on the in the egg then remove it just dip it And dip it again so it doesn't really take so long I'm going to flip this other one right away because it's just like an egg everything already is already cooked so I'm not really trying to make them cook for a really long time it's just like uh, 30 minutes 30 seconds on each side and we're done and then I take my this thing for removing I don't know what it's called in English then do this to drip the excess oil put it in a paper towel to also keep on dripping the excess oil and we're done thank you for watching till this end don't forget to like subscribe share and comment down below follow us on our ig page god bless you all bye